pastors and all the believers and hearers across the world. A very happy morning to all of you. I am at the CMC campus at Chittur, Andhra Pradesh this morning. The meditation is on false prophets and teachers. We are very, we are living in a very critical time. The preachers in hundreds are appearing on the Zoom platforms, on the YouTube, and innumerable preachings and utterances of the Word of God are being heard regularly. The Word of God gives us a warning. In the 24th chapter of Matthew, verse 11, 24th chapter of Matthew. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. It is a strong warning to the people and the seekers of the word of God. There are misquotings taking place on the word of God. Wrong theories are being taught and interpretations of their own willingness, their own fascinations are transmitted as the official spokespersons. We have to be very careful word of God should be its interpreter itself. Here a little, there a little. Isaiah 8, 8 20 says, the rule of interpretation of the word of God. In Matthew the 24th chapter, the verse 24 says, for there shall arise false Christs and false prophets and they shall show great fame and wonders in so much that if it were possible they shall deceive the very elect. A very strong warning given by Jesus Christ as a part of the warning regarding the end time signs and wonders in connection with the second coming of Jesus Christ. Prior to the second coming, there shall arise false teachers and false prophets, different philosophies and theologies of new nature. Many self-proclaimed prophets will appear telling that they are Christ Jesus. Even in the Acts of the Apostles, we read about the people claiming to be Jesus Christ, claiming to be magicians, claiming to be workers of great wonders and miracles. We have to be very careful regarding the deliverance meetings that are being conducted, the healing ministries that are being conducted. In the name of Jesus, only verbally we can utter the name of Jesus and do everything contrary to what Jesus said. So Jesus warned the entire world regarding the wonder working systems and the medias and agencies. The wonder working agencies are governed by satanic forces.
forces the devil spirits are working across the four corners of the earth to attract people and enroll people to his kingdom in revelation the 16th chapter 13th verse says a real warning regarding the triune powers the old serpent devil the false prophet and the beast today these triune powers are joined together against the kingdom and the constitution of god's kingdom as a result the false prophets are teaching the following number 1 there is no need of the 10 commandments the 10 commandments are old and nullified hence the holy sabbath is not to be obeyed and observed there is also the widespread teaching regarding the vast scale idolatry that is being practiced by the pagans as well as the christians and the protestants alike my dear friends we have to be highly watchful and alert we have to be sticking to the word of god the prophetic words should be our guide and the holy spirit anointment is needed in order to discern the false teachings in the light of the holy writ there is the large scale teaching of the immortality of the soul there is also the large scale teaching introduction of the sunday worship systems the whole world is going to be deceived in the name of worship in the name of miracles in the name of the wrong understanding of the word of god and because of the unawareness of the health message that is given through the word of god so reformation has to take place to the entire nations and inhabitants in the field of spirituality in the field of acknowledging the commandments of god in acknowledging the health messages and the rays of light that are being given through the word of god and also the prophetic messages and the time calendars given in the word of god we have to study about the 2300 days prophecy the largest time prophecy daniel 8:40 and then we have to understand what is the sanctuary and what service is going on the high priestly ministry of jesus christ and the close of probation these are all very very important topics that are being misinterpreted by the so called preachers and the self declared prophets my dear jesus has warned you remember in the acts of the apostles elimas he wanted to purchase the power that was available to peter and john to money today there are innumerable revival 
groups establishing the name of Jesus Christ telling the name of Jesus Christ but diverting the attention of masses against the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ Revelation 19:10 is so important in this class the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy the last day church the levodishian church which upholds the 10 commandments of god and the testimony of jesus as a message an everlasting message and consisting of the everlasting gospel proclaiming to the whole world the need of coming back to jesus in true worship by obeying the holy sabbath so the remnant church is considered to be the depository to repair the ruins made by the satanic forces and the so called preachers from the ages past what are we to do we how to enlighten the whole world regarding the need of these two salient features of the revolution church the remnant church the movement of god obeying the commandments of god the decalog which is the very character of jesus christ and then adhering to the commandments adhering to the testimony of jesus that is the spirit of prophecy in these last days men and women shall be guided by the holy spirit for the proclamation of these messages in perhaps 10 times more than that of the apostolic times during the pentecost the man of god apostle peter stood up and proclaimed and the 3000 people were baptized in the name of that there are revival groups and pentecostals and neo pentecostals who are adhering to the glossolalia to the speaking in tongues they have lost the sight of the essential principles of the word. word of god during the pentecost there were people gathered from more than 18 countries and there was the need of the language and the apostle peter preached and the people gathered from more than 18 nations understood the message in their own tongues the language there is the grammar there is the parts of speech and we cannot say anything and everything as language there is the grammar the construction the verb the adverb the preposition and the conjunction my dear friends today we have to be absolutely careful not to be in the trap of satan in the name of peripheral things we have to abide deeply with jesus and experience as the psalmist says taste and see that the lord is good psalms 34 7 and 8 that should be the watch word for all of us may i appeal to friends and hearers to be so vigilant regarding the false doctrines false prophets who may teach twisted messages messages mixed with error and right so that even the very elect can be deceived would you be careful <coughs> 
here and evaluate the messages in the light of the bible and you will be the safest may god through the holy spirit guide you to be away and far away from the false prophets and the twisting of the word of god god bless dr j t tarakulam 7th day admit mission center maraikul 6885523 alpi kerala or whatsapp number 9186063774 email tarakulam@gmail.com thank you